now let us discuss about quantifiers in predicate logic we know that we have two types of quantifiers first one is universal quantifier second one is existential quantifier universal quantifier is represented by this symbol so we can call this symbol as for all so this symbol is nothing but uh, reverse of a symbol if the sentence contains all every each anything everything anything for each then we have to use the universal quantifier and the second one is existential quantifier this is represented by reverse of e if if the sentence contains uh, we can call this as there exist so if the sentence contains there exist some few there exist some there is at least then we have to use the existential quantifier so this symbol is for all symbol all whereas this symbol is there exist it means some some so this is for all and this is some now our target is we have to represent these four examples uh, represent the sentences or statements in the symbolic form so with the help of the symbols we have to represent these four uh, statements or sentences these four examples let's see the first example so here we have four sentences are there so now we have to represent these four sentences in the symbolic form if we observe the first sentence all men are good second sentence no men are good third one some men are good fourth one some men are not good if we observe here all no some some all these are quantifiers quantifier words next we have men so we need to observe the predicates so here men is the predicate and good is the predicate so first let us uh, represent the predicate with the help of preposition or statement function so first first one is x is a man or x is a man so for this the preposition or statement function is m of x why because here m is starting with m so that's why we have taken the preposition function as m so this x is nothing but variable variable or we can call this as subject also okay variable or subject and the second one is next to predicate is good so first to predicate is men second predicate is good so here the second one is x is good so we can represent this this predicate with the help of the preposition function as g of x so good is starting with g so this x is nothing but subject or variable so now let us represent the first one all so all means we have to use universal quantifier so for all x men so men means m of x so within the parenthesis we have to specify the quantifier as well as this uh, this function also so m means m uh, all men so men means m of x r so uh, all men or means we have to use the implied symbol implied symbol conditional symbol all men are so good means the preposition function is g so g of x so in this way we can represent let us have those the second one no men are good so no men are good we can write that sentence as all men are not good so no men are good means we can write this sentence as all men are not good so all means we have to use the universal quantifier so for all x so men means m of x so here also we have r r means implied conditional symbol not good so good means g of x so not good means we have to use negation g of x negation g of x next third one some men are good so some means we have to use their existential next men means m of x here r but here which quantifier we use is existential quantifier let we have 10 people out of 10 people 
only few people are good people and the remaining are not good people so here the point is if the sentence contains some then we have to use the existential quantifier in that occasion we should not use implies so instead of implies we have to use and operator so why because out of all the men's only few people are good good people whereas if you take the first two examples all men are good so if if there are 10 people all the 10 people are good only whereas if you if you see the second one no men are good so that means all men are not good so if there are 10 people then all the 10 people are not good but here only few people are good and few are not good so that's why we have to use and so when we will use and here if we have some keyword if we use existential quantifier then if we have or if the sentence contains or then instead of implies it is better to use and good means g of x next fourth one some men are not good so some means we have to use their existential x so men means m of x so here we have or but some keyword so some means we have to use and and not good means negation g of x so in this way we can represent in the symbolic form now let us see the second example so what is the second example all monkeys have tails second example no monkey has a tail third example third sentence some monkeys have tails so totally there are three sentences are there if we observe here all no some so these are nothing but uh, quantifier keywords next monkey tail so monkey tail is nothing but predicate so first we have to represent that predicate with the help of the preposition or statement function so x is a monkey x is a monkey so monkey is starting with m so the preposition function is m of x is the subject so m of x next one is tail so x is a tail or x has tail x has tail so now tail is starting with t so t of what is the subject x is the subject t of x let us replace the first one all monkeys have tails so all means we have to use for all x so place within the parenthesis monkeys so monkeys means m of x have tails so here we are using universal quantifier so we can use imply symbol why because all the monkeys have the tails okay if there are 10 monkeys then all the 10 monkeys have the tails so we need to use implication have tails so tails means t of x then close this parenthesis so close this parenthesis next to second one no monkey has a tail so we can rewrite this sentence as all monkeys has no tail all monkeys has no tail so that means all monkeys means for all x monkeys means m of x have no tail so no tail means negation so tail means t of x so we can rewrite this sentence as all monkeys have no tail so all monkeys have no tail negation next third one some monkeys have tail so some means we need to use existential quantifier there exist x so monkeys means m of x some some means we should not use implies so initially we, we need to use and and so some monkeys have tails so tails means t of x so close this parenthesis so like this we can represent now let's see the third example what is the third one here also we have three statements are there all integers are rational numbers some integers are powers of 3 some rational numbers are powers of 3 so if you see here all and some are nothing but quantifier words integers rational numbers powers of 3 are nothing but predicates so what is the first one x is a rational number x is a rational number so rational number it is starting with r and the subject is x so r of x so this is the preposition function next one is integer here we have integer also so x is a integer so integer is starting with i i so we can write as i of x next one powers of 3 powers of 3 
so x is power of 3 power of 3 so power of 3 it is beginning with p so we can write it as p of x so what is the first one all integers are rational number so all means for all x integers means i of x all so all means we can use implies implies rational numbers means for rational number we have r so r of x next second one some integers are powers of 3 so some means we have to use existential quantifier integers integers means i of x some means we should not use implies we have to use and powers of 3 means p of x p of x so third one some rational numbers are so some means their existential quantifier rational numbers means r of x and powers of 3 means p of x so like this we can represent now let's see the fourth example what is the fourth example all men are mortal socrates socrates is a man socrates is a mortal so first one men so m of x x is men x is men next one mortal so mortal is also predicate but mortal is beginning with m but already m is given m specifies men so instead of m let us use another letter here i am using l so l of x means l of x means x is mortal x is mortal next one socrates here what is socrates socrates is nothing but a subject socrates socrates is nothing but a subject so first let us represent the first one what is the first one all men are mortal so all means for all x so many means m of x implies mortal means l of x next what is the next one socrates is a man so e is a man so m m is the predicate so for the second one m of socrates socrates directly we can write socrates or here let us use uh, socrates socrates here you can write as x, x is socrates or socrates in place of socrates uh, in place of socrates let us use x x yes yes stands for socrates or directly also we can write m of socrates and what is the next one socrates is a mortal so here the predicate is mortal so m of socrates or in place of socrates uh, define this function proposition or statement function yes s means socrates okay so like this also we can represent or in place of socrates you can write yes yes means socrates so in this way we can represent any sentence very very easily in uh, uh, symbolic form with the help of the quantifiers in predicate logic topic